they are not, and I repeat, are not do-it-yourself friendly. YouTube and HGTV have done a huge disservice to the population. Yeah. Anybody can edit anything, but can it be done? Absolutely. Is it cheap? No. Is it cool? Absolutely. You recently spoke that you have experience with container homes. Mm -hmm. um, I have a whole video that I'm working on ripping them apart. Um, I think <laughs> that per personally, um, I just don't think container homes are a great idea. Um, now, I say that to say I don't think they are e efficient and I don't think they're the smartest way to build a small space. Are they awesome? Absolutely. Do they look sick? Absolutely. Are they really cool? All that type of stuff. Would you make a ton of money with the container home on Airbnb and short term rentals? Absolutely. I'm not saying that at all because I say the same thing about A frame homes and I own an A frame uh, in the Catskill Mountains. Uh, but is it a smart, efficient use of space? No, it's, no. it's stupid. It's like, it's like, it's so, <laughs> yes. I, I know that. And I, my A-frame uh, in, uh, in the Catskills is, you know, rented all the time on Airbnb. So like, I know that they have the purpose, but what is your opinion on um, container homes and like, what's kind of your take on them? Because I don't think that it's the smartest idea. I see a lot of people thinking that they can build container homes cheaper than they can build something else or that everyone has different reasons. And I personally believe that there's so many things wrong with it that I'm like, just go build a, a stick cabin. So here's the thing with container homes. I'm kind of with you. I think they're eclectic. And as a builder, they're fun for me just because you get okay. to use all your skill sets to bring this thing in. They are not, and I repeat, are not do-it-yourself friendly. Like, this is not something like, hey, I, I, I'm going to get a container home, and I'm going to go do this. Okay, do you have a welder? Okay, it's one thing to own a welder. It's another thing to know how to weld. Do you have a plasma mm -hmm. cutter? Do you have a grinder? Because they're metal. You can't just fabricate stuff out of thin air with this. And then how do you attach the wood member to the metal? You have to have some sort of skill set. Can it be done? Absolutely. Is it cheap? No. Is it cool? Absolutely. Those things are, okay. it's kind of like the Airbnb, like you said, um, the A-frame, are they efficient? No. Do they look cool? Yes. Can you rent them out all the time? Yes. Because they're eclectic mm -hmm. and people are like, hey, I'm only going to be here for a short time. So you don't look at all the stuff that, you know, would bother you as a long-term, you know, owner or resident, you know, you can deal with it. Yeah. It's kind of like going to the beach, you know, a beach home, like, I don't care about this paint color of this pile. Well, you're only there for a week or a weekend. You don't care. But yeah. if you're there for years, it's absolutely going to bother you. Um, they are a pain to insulate and, you know, weatherproof correctly. They are um, soundproofing. Mm, that's another thing. Uh, you know, building them out, uh, moving them is, is not easy unless you have the equipment. I mean, are you going yeah. to get a crane? Do you have a lull? Like, how are you going to set this thing in place? Um, however, I will say, if you want to go a deep dive, they're, they're great to put on a gooseneck trailer and have a frame. And mm -hmm. it's a mobile RV that way. And it's going to be much better built than, you know, uh, an RV you buy off the lot. Um, I mean, you have a mm -hmm. mobile tank at that point. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, there's some nuances. Like for me, but I have the skill set. But if some, you know. YouTube and HGTV have done a huge disservice to the population. Yeah. Anybody can edit anything. And they're like, oh, that's all yeah. you have to do? And I was like, you don't realize they Photoshop this? But I, I, yeah. I, I have the background. I was like, yeah, that didn't happen. It's kind of like you see the weight loss videos, and it's like, that's yeah. a completely different person. That's not the same person. But most people, yeah. most people they, they, you know, they can't see the forest for the trees. You know, they're, they're looking like, oh, this is awesome. And then they get into it, and they're thousands. I mean, just the containers alone. I mean, you're five to ten thousand dollars, depending on what you get and where you get it to. And then all of a sudden, you're like, "I'm in over my head. What am I going to do?" And then you have to Craigslist it for half off because who wants a container? <laughs> so yeah, you, you better do your research and you better know what you're getting into. Are they cool? Yes. Would I it, if I could get around and have a tiny home community on some land, which I'm I'm trying to fight codes now to do. I would absolutely, I'd have one of each different facade. Like I'd have a little tiny country cat cottage. I'd do an A-frame. I would absolutely do a container home. Um, believe it or not, mm -hmm. we have, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, uh, Dollywood. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. There's a place where you can stay in covered wagons. 
for like two hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. a night. I was like, the yep. pioneers did this for free, and you bougie people yeah. are paying three hundred dollars a night, and all you get is a bed and a canvas tarp. I was like, I, well, then, I have missed the boat. So like, I did something yeah. wrong in life. But yeah, I mean, absolutely, people <laughs> want to stay in something eclectic. Um, tree houses, believe it or not, the tiny home tree houses. People are paying massive money because how cool would it be? Hey, we slept in a tree house over the weekend. You know, absolutely, it, it's it's eclectic, it's new, it's something different, but long term, mm, it, it it depends on your climate as well. You know. Would, would I drop that thing? Yeah. I think, would I drop it up in Canada and leave on it? No, you're going to freeze. Like, <laughs> yeah. good luck. But would I drop it in yeah. Arizona or the desert? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it just kind of depends on your circumstance. So everything has its purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I think, again, it's just like it, it looks cool. But like you said, I think a lot of people for some reason think that container houses are cheaper. Um, oh. And a lot of people think that container houses are easier to build. No. Like you said, no. I'm like, I don't understand. It's the exact opposite. Like, they're not cheap. Like you said, just for the shell of the container, you're already a couple of grand in. Um, and then uh, to build, like you said, it's like, are you going to have windows? Or like, and do you feel comfortable cutting into raw steel or whatever the hell? I'm no builder. Whatever the hell <laughs> container homes are, are made out of. Yeah. I just see them and I'm like, it's just such a big no-no to me. Where especially in thinking about the fact that you can build a cabin like a, a stick frame two by four i don't know how you guys call them yeah. like construction so much more cheaper with easier material and it's easier for a lay person like myself to make any edits or changes in the future you know if you're just somewhat kind of handy you could do a little bit of work that would be my absolute best recommendation is stick frame it and build it yourself because at that point you can do whatever um and back to container homes, here's another thing that people don't think about. What was shipped in these things? Like, what chemicals? Mm-hmm. And everybody, and, you know, you want to put on your temple hats later. Where does the majority of these things come from? China? Mm-hmm. Overseas? Like, it, like mm-hmm. they're notorious for lying. International. Yeah, international. Yeah. And nobody cares. They're just like, oh, yeah, this is food great. No, they shove anything and everything in those things to make the most money, mm-hmm. put them on over here, and then they sit in port for however long you want. Yeah, I mean, you've got to literally yeah. gut these things. And they're like, oh, they're using this chemical grade plywood that people are like, oh, this is a great subfloor. I was like, yeah, until you have cancer two years down the line. I was like, <laughs> you, you need to rip all this out. Like, and start, like, yeah. all you're buying is a metal base and you're going from there. And, mm-hmm. and like I said, is it cool? Yeah. Is it do-it-yourself friendly? Absolutely not. Like, you have to have some skill set or know somebody who does. And you better have a lot yeah. of fear to pay them because, like, yeah. you're yeah. you're you're gonna want it. <laughs> you're gonna want it. Yeah, I've I've had to pay a lot of people in beer, a lot of friends with beer to help me with my projects. Uh, I, uh, like you said, I've gotten in over my head a couple of times too. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, it, let, let me tell people that goes a long way. <laughs> Absolutely, long way. Mm-hmm. Figure out what their favorite drink is, and you know, show a little appreciation, and we'll we'll, we'll bend over and we'll help you out. 